Also, good morning to everyone, and also thanks to our host, uh, UITM, for organizing this uh, conference, MJIC 2021. So, uh, my name is Sao Ping, and my title is about the first principle studies for the electronic structure and optical properties of strong dome uh, beta kilam oxide. And my I'm come from the IMAN UKM. So uh, basically, this is all my information and uh, my supervisor and co-supervisor. So thanks for his or her guidance so that I'm achieving these uh, publications and able to bring out into this conference. So basically, this is my outline. And this is my general introduction regarding this work. So I have uh, introduced uh, the unit cell uh, and also supercell, the brewing zone, and the band gap band structure of uh, this uh, DFT work, and also for the optical properties. This is uh, for the absorption coefficient. And so, uh, what is my motivation of the studies? Uh, this motive, the behind of this study is to discover the elements for strontium when doping with gallium oxide. Uh, through the DFT. So the first three things that I'm going to observe, which is the structural properties, electronic structural properties, and also optical properties. And the ultimate goal for this is to observe whether this uh, strontium material can able to boost uh, these materials' electrical and optical properties in order to enhance the device efficiency. And as for my research, research objective, the first which is to investigate the structural properties of the gallium oxide firm crystal through the first principle study. The second which is to optimize and study the electronic structure and optical properties of the pure and strontium dopita gallium oxide from DFT. And also lastly which is to discover the novelty of this material for the strontium dope which able to boost the materials, electrical and optical properties on gallium oxide thin film. So my methodology, so basically I'm using what we so call the cast step from the material studio 6.1 and I was uh, using this uh, GGA PBE, generalized gradient approximation and PBE stands for Purdue Bird Einzelhoff and for the unit cell that I'm using is actually 1 times 1 times 1 and for the super cell is uh, 1 times 2 times 2 and the basic parameter for this uh, cell calculation, the cutoff energy that I use is 380 EV and the energy convergence that I got is uh, 1.209 times 10 to the power of negative 6 EV per atom and the maximum displacement is 5 times 10 to the negative 4 m strong and the sh maximum stress is 0 0.02 GPA and the maximum force is 0 0.01 EV per m strong. And now comes to my result and discussion for this simulation. So this is uh, my work for the unit cell. For, for the A is a pure beta kilogram oxide and for the B is a strontium dope beta kilogram oxide. And now comes to the supercell. So as for the dope, I was choosing two position, one which is for the GA1 position, then another one which is for the GA2 position. So because uh, the purpose is to observing uh, different different doping site uh, to, to see whether they have taken different kind of the result or not. So basically it did showing uh, a little bit different, but then it's almost similar, even though they are in two different doping sites. And uh, this now comes to the last this parameter that I have got from this DFT, and this is basically the the calculation that I got from the GGA PPE. And the experiment here is a practical experiment that is done by the previous researcher. So as you can see, which is uh, quite close to each other for the error, error of estimation. 
So the highest of error of estimation for this pure beta calcium oxide is uh, less than 6.2%. And while for this uh, strontium to beta calcium oxide, because uh, no one has ever conducting this uh, experimental before, so we consider it quite novelty. And the result that we got, uh, which is uh, less than two percent of the error of estimation, when you comparing to the pure beta calcium oxide uh, above here. And this is for the supercell. So as you can see that when I'm doping in different uh, sites for GA1 and GA2, it can show that a similar result as obtained. So the highest of error of estimation is still one point, less than 1.2%, so which is quite close to each other for this GA1 and GA2 in terms of their lattice parameter. And this is basically for the supercell lattice parameter ca calculation. So now comes to the bond length. And this is uh, the this is for the pure and the strontium dope beta kilo oxide in one times one times one unit cell. And you can see that when after the SR doping, the bond length will getting increases when comparing to the pure beta kilo oxide. So now comes to next, which is the for the supercell, and this uh, situation is also the same in the unicell here. The bond length for the strontium dope is uh, getting increased compared to previous uh, pure beta gallium oxide. And now comes to the spatial electron density map, and as you can see, this is uh, the part A is uh, gallium oxide here. Mostly they are residing in the red color region. So they have initially they are having the strong covalent nature in for the gallium oxide, but after when we implying the strontium element atom into it, so it will eventually changing the nature for the bonding characteristic. So this strontium dope gallium, gallium oxide is basically located in the weak ionic bonding characteristic and mostly th this color here they are showing is uh, in the green color region from the material studio that I, I have got and this is the brewing zoom path that I got for the P1 symmetry and the brewing zoom path uh, that I have obtained is in the GF GZQ direction for the pure beta gallium oxide and now comes to the band gap energy. So this is basically for the electronic band structure for the pure and sodium to beta gallium oxide for unit cell. So as you can see that without the use of scissor operator, the band gap energy is actually lesser than the lesser than the actual band gap energy. So as you can see that if we are using this scissor operator the band gap energy that we got is 4.8 because scissor operator is mainly to shift all the conduction level from the underestimation of the band gap calculation so initially it's 1.939 and then after using the the scissor operator you, you will get this so this is basically quite close to the practical work so now next is uh, density of state and yeah this is basically for the density of state for the pure beta gallium oxide and strontium to beta gallium oxide in the unit cell so as you can see that they are mostly dominating uh, for for the strontium to beta gallium oxide is mainly 5s o, o2s and also ga3d the they are mostly dominate in the valence band and the same goes for the supercell and this is their result pattern of the DOS and here is the optical properties and you can see that for the for the wave in terms of wavelength of the absorption coefficient here they are the peak absorption mostly in the deep UV region 
because as we know that uh, beta gamma oxide is uh, they're having a deep UV nature here and it same goes to the strontium dope beta gamma oxide but the case is they have somehow rate shifted the wavelength so which means they have uh, they have mostly make this uh, material to be to become a p-type doping behavior because they have shifted this uh, wavelength here in this region and this is for the dielectric function and re refractive index of the our material and now this is also for the reflectivity and loss function of the of the unicell and supercell it's actually all the is all interrelated for all these optical properties and now comes with the conclusion here the decrease for the band gap energy is actually means due is actually means the creation of the holes in order to accept more incoming free electron and this this also means that the strontium dopant somehow they're having the p-type doping behavior and this strontium dope beta gamma oxide is actually changing the bonding characteristic to weak ionic bond comparing to the pure beta gamma oxide because pure beta gamma oxide initially they have a strong covalent bonding and as for the opti optical absorption part the strontium beta gamma oxide ex actually exhibited a rate shifter spectrum as i mentioned previously and this uh, also matching with the optical behavior for the p-type doping where the material emits broader wavelength emission and lastly for the both pure and strontium dope beta gamma oxide actually is found in the deep uv region according to the absorption coefficient result so which is uh, this result here as you can see the wavelength mostly residing in 100 to 300 nanometer here so yeah and my future work here is actually to conduct the experimental work regarding the fabrication of the strontium dope gallium oxide pin firm and meanwhile um, in this uh, experimental work we will further analyzing this uh, self-generating energy property throughout the whole experimental work so thanks for this is my references uh, regarding my simulation and thanks for listening for my for my speech and thank you very much